Hey y'all, welcome back to another edition of The Warp Zone. I'm Mellow Joe. We're starting off this episode of Drunk Citizen in Prison. If you missed the last Star Citizen video, well, I messed up and here we are. If you're new to the series, let me catch you up. The goal is going from zero to hero and hopefully finding out if a drunk person can become a millionaire in Star Citizen. We're more than halfway there, but plans got derailed last time. Let's check in on our favorite prisoner who's written us a letter from behind bars. Klesher Rehabilitation Facility, my new home. Here I toil away for the benefit of others now in the dank, dusty, winding mines of Klesher. Zap the rock, pick up some gems. Zap the rock, pick up some gems. The tedium of my new life has given me time to reflect on my mistakes. I think a lot about the guy I shot. It was an accident, but it was still my fault. He was a son, maybe a husband, or perhaps even a father. You know, I, I hesitated in the moment, but ultimately I pulled the trigger. It was accidental manslaughter, friendly fire, call it whatever you want, but I still feel like a murderer sometimes. The moment is seared into my memory. I'm trying to make the most of my time here and I'm, I'm learning a new trade. As much as I hate mining right now, I think I can put my new skills to good use when I finally get out of here. I think I'd enjoy it, m maybe even find it relaxing somehow if I chose to do it. I could totally see myself out there blasting rocks while blasting my favorite music in my helmet's earpiece. The hope keeps me going through these trying times. I've been dreaming of having a mining ship one day. Can you believe it? One thing's for certain, I'd much rather shoot at rocks than at people at this point in my life. Until the day when I'm finally out of here, I've, I had to figure out how to use this mining attachment for the multi-tool on my own. I've used the multi-tool before delivering packages. The attachments on the thing are interchangeable and the tractor beam is essential for the delivery work that I was doing before all of, all of this happened. There's a medical attachment. I, I've used it before, too. It's it's not as good as a bona fide med gun, but in a pinch, it's way better than nothing. This mining attachment, though, it took me a minute to figure it out. You can just point it at a rock, and it'll tell you if it has anything valuable in it. It, it needs a moment to scan, and it seems to work faster the closer you are to the rock. It pulls up a whole bunch of data on the right side of the readout and it can tell you what's in the rock, how tough the rock is, and how unstable the thing is going to be when you start zapping it. Instability equals value though. I bet there's a lot of greedy miners out there who've blown themselves up. But there's a reason why the unstable minerals are the most valuable ones. The multi-tool has a throttle, if, if that's even the right word. When, when I'm delivering packages, I crank it up and down to move the item closer or further away. It kind of applies to mining too, and you do it the same way. It, it zaps the rock harder when you crank it up, and it eases up when you crank it down. And the amount of zap you hit the rock with makes all the difference for the next part. The rock that you zap, it, it like absorbs some of the energy that you're hitting it with, and you want it to break apart safely. The left side of the multi-tool readout has this vertical bar with some zones on it. You want the green zone. That's where it's going to fracture the rock. If you get one that cracks there, it's going to split apart safely and just kind of crumble and give you some easy pickings. If your throttle is too low, you won't quite get to the green zone. And if your throttle's too high, that thing is going to bust open and send everything in every direction, hopefully not into your helmet. You can finesse your fracking by moving closer or further away. It seems to help the tool kind of amplify or divide its power depending on how far away you are. All I know is if I've really messed up and the thing starts beeping, I run. I run as far as I can, as quick as I can, and so far that's worked out well for me, so I hope to get out of prison soon. Here's a friendly reminder to leave all materials found during mining expeditions outside the living area. These might contain contaminants that may Your be harmful to other Your sentence has been reduced again. Keep it up. 
I swear to God, if I ever have to come back to this place, I'm shanking somebody. Attention! Attention! Please direct your attention towards the front gates. One of our guests has completed their rehabilitation and is being released. Let's give them a round of applause. Good luck back in the world, civilian. Well, Jesus fucking Christ, that was quite an ordeal. Man, I am glad to be back home. Glad that's over. No longer a criminal. I'm gonna call it a day. Don't get arrested. Pro tip. Well, our zero to hero journey got a bit derailed, didn't it? Going to prison, can't make any money in there. But you know what we did do? We learned a new skill. We know how to mine in the game now. And the same basic principles of hand mining also apply to any of the vehicles and ships that have mining attachments. It's going to be very, very useful and hopefully lucrative information going forward because when you say mine, I see a dollar sign. That's right, we're going to make some money in the future with that, I'm sure. But until then, why don't you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on whatever happens next in this ridiculous experiment of becoming the universe's first drunk millionaire <laughs> until next time this has been the warp zone i'm mellow joe bye bye